snacks in here. So <laughs> I'm excited about today's video as if I'm not excited about all of them. I'm excited today because this video is going to be a lot of fun. We are going to be doing the get to know me tag, right? Because I realize that I've been on here for a while and there's so many of you that's new to my channel, new and old. But for those of you who are brand new to my channel or just want to get to know me a little bit, I figured this would be a fun video to do. Um, so I did pull up the get to know me tag questions. Who would have thought that you can like you can Google them out and they're on there. So I figured I'd do that. So but before we get started, completely with the get to know me tag I do want to give a quick shout out to posh mark for making this video possible we collaborated on this video so it's gonna be pretty cool if you guys don't know about posh mark posh mark is an online community where you can sell your items that's kind of like just laying around the house which if you're a girl you do that all day every day so I'm gonna show you guys um, what I have on my Poshmark and pretty much how it works so basically all you have to do is download the Poshmark app which you can get from the App Store if you're on Apple or if you have um, your Android whatever your App Store is is where you would um, access the Poshmark app and then you'll go ahead you'll make an account and once you've made an account, it's really simple. You're just going like, to put your picture up there and everything. You can go ahead and you can instantly start selling. So I'm going to show you guys how quick and easy it is. So you're just going to press that button right in the middle that says sell. It has a icon of a uh, camera. And then you're going to go ahead and take a picture of whatever item you are selling. And then in the details, this is where we get real freaky. You know what I mean? This is where we show like why they should purchase the item so you're going to tell them what you're selling just go ahead and put that in there describe it so you're going to go into detail has it been used how many times um exactly what the item is some colors that they might can look forward to things like that and then from there it's broken down into subcategories so you will press that and for this case it is makeup so i'm going to go ahead and press makeup and you they actually have luminizers here so I'm going to press the luminizer. This part down here, the original price is uh, really important. So you can just basically Google that and find out what the price is of the product that you are selling. So in this case, the highlighter palette was $39. I'm going to place mine uh, for sale for $15. And then you're good to go. And then from there, people can actually see your, uh, your, your page and see what you have to offer. So as you guys can see, I have quite a bit, uh, quite a few things here. I decided to mix and match some stuff. So I have some uh, clothing items, shoe items. I also have a lot of makeup because obviously being a beauty blogger, I have a lot of makeup products. Um, and yeah, so this is my page and yeah, it's super, super simple. And let me tell you guys, I've been on here for a couple of days and I've already sold like four of my items and I made a quick hundred bucks. Like, ah! like how can you say no to that? Like you, you're already going to be like sitting on these products forever and a day. So you might as well make some coins off of it if you are uh, looking to make some extra money because who isn't, right? <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, thank you again to Poshmark for uh, collaborating with me on this video. I'll be sure to place all the information down below. And also, if you guys want to follow me on there as well, you can follow me on So Jazz Jackson on Poshmark so you can see some of the items that I put up there. I'm going to be putting a lot more items on there because I really do like it and it does work. Like, I made a quick hundred bucks like in two days. Like, come on. Alright, <laughs> let's get to the video. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get to this get to know me tag. I literally, I have the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have the questions, right? Sure, right, sure. Alright, so numero uno. Wait, hold on. Okay, it's 25 questions, so I'm not going to bore you to death, okay? <laughs> Alright, number one, what is your middle name? My middle name is Lee, okay? Lee. Um, what was your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject in high school was literature. So like literature, English, reading, whatever. I was always, I, I excelled um, very well in literature and, and writing and things of that sort. And I kind of carried it as I, as I grew into my adult years um, following journalism. So um, yeah, it was always my favorite and I, I just loved it. I loved uh, reading and all of that stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm like running off on a tangent, but definitely literature was my favorite. What is your favorite drink? Okay, so my favorite drink, uh, okay, I'm going to give you a two-part answer. So my favorite drinks these days is obviously um, water and I love green juices. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you will know that I follow a very, um, a very healthy lifestyle 
so I don't consume like sodas and um, I guess unnatural uh, sugary drinks so uh, I like to drink stuff like this so this is um, this is an example this is what I drink I drink these every single week um, and let me just <laughs> make a disclaimer this is not sponsored like you know it's not sponsored. but um, this is a uh, company called Jacinth the Juices, which is based out of Chicago here. If you follow me on Snapchat, you guys already know I'm telling the truth. Like, I show you guys this every single day. Um, so, I like to drink juices like this because it's just extremely healthy for the body. Um, I don't use them as meal replacements, but I, I use them... Uh, I mean, I guess I, I could say loosely I would use them as a meal replacement. Like sometimes if I'm on the go and I don't have time to make breakfast, I'll grab a green juice and I'm good to go. But I eat like a, in a couple hours, I definitely have to eat. So I love these. This one is actually called Pear Fit. Um, and so there's some kale, spinach, cucumber, pear, apple, lime, mint, and ginger in here. Um, and it is delicious. Like I have not missed a beat. I do not miss like sodas and or sugary drinks I don't miss that at all in my diet um and yeah I just I really enjoy these um but prior to that prior to um you know kind of moving over to a healthier lifestyle I definitely enjoyed Pepsi that was my thing uh and I loved Welcher's Concord Grape like cocktail juice girl Okay, the next question is, what is your favorite song at the moment? Oh my god, that's too hard. Um, shuckies. Uh, <laughs> I would have to say, I mean, I guess you gotta throw Migos in there because Bad and Bougie is like lit right now. So probably Migos, Bad and Bougie, I love that one. Um, if I'm talking R&B, there's, uh, oh, Kalani, I love her distraction song. Um, how does it go? Uh, are you down to be a distraction, baby? But don't, that's, that's my joy. <laughs> Alright, so number five is what would you or have you named your children? So I have an 11 year old son whose name is Isaiah. Um, he was named after Isaiah in the Bible. Um, but his grandmother actually named him. His name was supposed to be Nehemiah, which is also in the Bible as well. And I called him Nehemiah my entire term pregnancy. And his nickname was Nemo from Finding Nemo. <laughs> The entire time I was pregnant, I called him Nemo. Um, and yeah, so his, he was supposed to be Nehemiah. But um, when I had him, uh, I don't know what happened. Like his grandma was like, eh, ain't gonna happen. His name is Isaiah. And so, uh, you know, I had to throw my little juju on there and make it a Z. Actually, Zaya, yeah. come here. You want to say hi? To the video? Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> That's Isaiah. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. <laughs> okay, number six is, have you participated in any sports? I've never been um, really athletic um, in my life. Uh, <laughs> I did, I don't even know if you would consider this a sport. They consider cheerleading a sport, but I don't know if they consider pom-pom a sport, but I was like on the pom-pom team, and so I did a lot of dancing. Um, but in junior high, grade school, junior high, I was on the volleyball team, and I was really good. And every summer, I, I get this need to do volleyball and so I become very competitive and I want to like beat everybody in volleyball. It happens every single year. What is your favorite animal? Um, I'm a dog lover. I love doggies. Like I have a new pup. I'm going to show you guys her later. She's on a timeout right now. But um, <laughs> she's actually eating at the moment, actually, so I don't want to bother her. But um, I, I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. Number 10, what is your favorite edu perfume? What is your favorite perfume? Perfume. Perfume. 
I've been in Chicago too much. What's your favorite perfume? Okay, my favorite perfume um, probably is Versace. 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 Uh, Eros, I think that's what it's called. Uh, I love that one. I also love Allian. Um, that one smells really good. I believe it's made by Terry McMullen. It is so good. It's kind of on the sweet. It's like a sweet fragrance, but it's deep. I love those. I, I love fragrances that tip the scales between cologne and perfume, if that makes sense. I love that. What is your favorite holiday? <sighs> My birthday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a holiday, whatever it's a mother day. I, you know what? Okay, in all seriousness, um, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I think maybe it's because I'm, I know I can't say that, but I'm not really into holidays like that. I'm not, I'm not into Thanksgiving and Christmas and I'm just not. I, I don't, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I don't celebrate that at all. Um, and I don't, and it's weird because when I, when it's like time, you know, when I do have a bay, I don't, I still don't have one today, guys. Um, but when I do have a bay, I never like expect them to do grandiose things for Valentine's Day. I just, I mean, if you're not gonna do it any other day, why are we gonna, why, why are we gonna, why are we gonna pump fake, why are we pump fake it, okay? <laughs> And doing stuff on Valentine's Day. I don't know. So I don't know. I I um Martin Luther King's birthday. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so number twelve on a scale of one to ten, rate your childhood. I was I was probably not. <laughs> I probably wasn't the person they had in mind when they made this question because I'm sure they were looking for people that would say, oh, it was a. 50. Now my childhood, I, I come from extremely humble beginnings and so um, ch my childhood was really rough um, and yeah so I kind of don't even, <laughs> you know, I kind of don't even want to put it on a scale because uh, you know, but I'm, I'm still standing, I'm here today, okay? Um, okay, have you ever been out of the country? No, but I am going out of the country um, for the first time this year, uh, for because I'm going on tour, you guys, I did a video for you all with Wigs Across America. So I'm going on a, uh, I think it's a, if I remember right, six city tour and then one international. I'm going to Lagos, Nigeria, or is it Lagos? Someone, I think it's Lagos. Yes, Lagos, Nigeria, and I cannot be more excited about that. Like I'm so excited. Um, do you speak any different languages? Yes. Um, along with speaking English, I'm very good at Ebonics. Okay? Because that's a language. Ebonics is real good. You know, I'm fluent in that. Number 15. Do you have any siblings? I do. I have quite a bit. Uh, now, we talking mom's side or we talking dad's side? <laughs> uh, so, mom's side, I have a brother who's uh, five years older than me. His name is Lorico. And, uh, and then I have a younger brother who's uh, 10 years younger than me and his name is, I'm gonna call him KJ because I don't, I don't know, do you, do you like your name, um, KJ? <laughs> so um, yeah, and we have, a, we have a really close relationship. I think like the, the, the difference in dynamics between like my older brother and I and my younger brother and I, like my older brother and I, we grew up together because there was a five year difference. So we've, we literally went through everything in life together. My little brother came along, we were 10 and 15 years older than him. So that kind of made it, made a situation like, um, kind of like at this point in my life, I feel more so like a parent than a child, than a sister sometimes. But I still, you know, I still try to do my sister thing, but then I'll snap right into like parent mode if he do some crazy shit. Like I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I'm a parent. Number 16 is what is your favorite store? My favorite store, um, besides Target, I think that's every girl's favorite store. But I'm gonna get back on my like health kick stuff. 
Um, my favorite store is a very small store in Hyde Park, which is here in Chicago. It's called Bonnie Sante. It is a health food store. Um, I'm probably in there at least every day, if not every other day. I love to get these smoothies and these ACI bowls um, that they make for me. And it's just, it's kind of like, um, it's really nice when you go in there. It just feels like a, a family unit so to speak i know that sounds super cliche but because it's like you know it's owned by not by a big corporation it's owned by you know a guy and, and he has a couple but it just feels very homey if that makes sense what is your favorite restaurant number six number 17 what is your what is your favorite restaurant <sighs> okay if i'm talking chains I love, um, ooh, yeah. If I'm talking chains, I love Cheesecake Factory or Grand Lux. I don't know if you guys have that in your area, but Grand Lux and Cheesecake Factory, they're owned by the same company. But Grand Lux has more of a Southern New Orleans style feel to them. So some of the foods are a little bit more spicy. Um, Cheesecake Factory has everything, but it's kind of like it Americanizes, if that's even a word, a lot of the foods. So um, you can get more Cajun style foods at, at Grand Lux. Okay, numero 19, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Uh, <laughs> the only reason why I'm making that face is because I honestly, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. I don't. Um... Uh, I have to say the first person that popped in my mind was it's my Ray Ray which she's like we're like social based like whenever we post pictures we always like show oh my god girl yes you know we're like what <laughs> it's like one of those situations so um so I have to say like um it's my Ray Ray um I love Shameless Maya I just love her for um for her energy I love the content that she creates I feel like the content that she creates is um is is content that you can use not only for uh, for tangible purposes in terms of like what you want to do with, the, with your career life but she also taps into like working on your inner self and I'm all about that these days so I love that about her what is number 20 number 20 is what is your favorite movie oh my god okay it has to be two I don't have just one but my, okay, number one, which would be number one, has to be Friday with Ice Cube and uh, the original. Friday with Ice Cube, uh, what's his name? Jesus Christ, I'm getting old. Um, Chris Tucker, okay? Funny, like, I can, I literally, from the time it starts to the time it ends, I'm pretty much saying every line in the movie like always um and then my second favorite movie that i have to watch every time it comes on i don't care how many times i've seen this movie oh shit two <laughs> all right i'm gonna give you three okay so friday enough with uh jennifer lopez and also selena it's like i never get tired of selena that's a good movie too so uh i gave you three 21 21 Savage. Young Savage, why you trapping so hard? Uh, okay, what are some of your favorite TV shows? I am a creature of habit, and my mother loved Law & Order Special Victims Unit. So I love Law & Order Special Victims Unit. I watch it religiously. I watch it on my Netflix whenever it comes on TBS, whenever it comes on Ion, like whatever channel it comes on, I'm watching it. It doesn't matter what decade it was made in, like if it was like from 95, I'm still watching. I'm still watching. Um, when Power is on, like nothing beats Power for me. I love watching Power. Um, and I'm, I'm like, a, I'm like a, a, a court show fiend. So any court show you put in front of me, I'm going to watch it. Judge Mathis. Um, Judge Judy. That's my baby. Judge Judy, I love her. Um, yeah, so any any court show, I'm pretty much going to watch that. Number 22, PC or Mac? I mean, I mean, I mean, why would you even have a PC? Unless you work in corporate America, why would you have a PC? Why? Um, what phone do you have? Okay, so I have the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, I just got it. I hear that they're coming out with a new one, but 
I mean, it's cool. I could have stayed with my iPhone 6 Plus, but y'all know how it go. Every single time, like when a new phone drop, all of a sudden, the one that you got in your hand don't work. Like, I swear to you, it just started wowing. It was just doing way too much. Um, how tall are you? Number 24. I am 5'2". I'm very short. People always, when they meet me, they're like, I thought you were a lot taller. Like, no. I'm 5'2". I'm pine size, okay? Pine size. Um, and then number 25. I think I answered this already. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a uh, puppy. Her name is Bailey. Actually, let me see if I can go get her for you guys. Hold on. Alright guys, so I am back and this is Bailey. Hello mamas. Hello. Oh, hello. She needs a haircut so bad. But this is Bailey. Um, please forgive her. She is so overdue for a haircut. Um, but Bailey is a Havanese Cocker Spaniel, yes. Havanese Cocker Spaniel. I think her her mom is Havanese and her dad's a Cocker Spaniel, or vice versa. And she is just the cutest thing ever. She is bad, so bad. She's not. She's not bad, guys. Like, cause no dogs are bad. Dogs are not bad. I am having a hard time training Bailey because. Um, I'm so busy so I have like I've been having a difficult time training my little mama um, and so that has made it a very difficult uh, relationship for us <laughs> right now but she's such a sweetheart and she's being really calm right now surprisingly like she's usually off the wall hey there you want to say hi say hello you don't want to talk to the people oh, I feel so bad you don't have a haircut and you talking to the people Next time, you're going to flex on them, right? Right? Yes. Don't be kissing me. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, that um, that about wraps it up for me with my um, Get to Know Me tag. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And let me know what other videos you want to see. If you want to see more videos of just kind of getting to know me. Or what else you want to see on my channel. It really doesn't matter. You can just put them down below in the comments uh, below. Be sure to follow me on social media, guys. I would love if you guys could follow me on Instagram as well as Snapchat. I'm always on there um, talking to you guys and having a lot of fun over there. So if you want to head over there, I'll put all of my information down below, somewhere down here. Yeah, me and Bailey, we'll see you guys in our next video.